Okay, looks like I'm black. Again, just going to do my normal opening. He played two, three, fours. Since he took the corners, I think I'm going to also take the corner. So that is kind of like two corners to two corners. Although this one still can be invaded, sort of. So, but hmm, I kind of want to approach here because there is some Aji with this one. And if I approach here, he could always just take a corner. So it feels like he's going to get one corner anyway. So I'll just approach, which makes this a little bit stronger and is making this a little bit weaker. I don't think he should respond to this. Probably just enclosing a corner would be good. Uh, playing something like this would be too slow. Attaching kind of makes me more solid. The kick is not the best because uh, there's a lot of weakness here where I can play here and I can uh, attach under or I can like push out. And this move is just, it doesn't really work well with the three, four stones. Like, yeah, it's kind of works, but it's too far away. So I can make a base or I can go into the corner. And if he adds a uh, enclosure here, this just feels like it's not really doing much. So I'm just going to simply make a base for my group. Um, he might try kicking again. Yep. But again, now there's a weakness over here. My group is uh, getting out and into the center. Can't really surround me in one move. And if I go here, it's very over concentrated and it doesn't really do much for eye shape. Even if I go here, he could still peep here. So here, I think the best way is just to uh, to nuke again. And then since he can't really surround me, I'm just gonna run out and then it should be okay. Yep, he tries to kick again. And so this time he tries to make a base, but there's still this weakness here. And I can attach here now because he didn't play the uh, jump. And this is giving me some influence over here now. So maybe I have some potential to build something. Uh, it's not too much potential because there's always the shoulder hits or something like that. But when he does the shoulder hit, the corner becomes very solid. This one's a bit risky. I'm assuming he just wants to connect because the ladder, I guess, doesn't work. But let's double check that. Okay, so yeah, the ladder does work for white. It hits right about here. But I don't really need to make the ladder. I can just extend here. And there's so much Aji over here that I don't really need to... Uh, worry about uh, losing this. So I should be able to save one or the other. If I can, uh, if he tries to kill this, I can still invade and do something over here. And him running here is helping make this more solid. And maybe this might be a little bit more complicated. Um, hopefully this uh, is all making sense. So because he played this one, I can also play this one, which is uh, helping develop this side. But I want to kind of like peep here. Because um, if he just lets me connect under, then I'm happy just giving this away. And I can just play here and then Tanuki. Um, but if he does something that lets me save these, I'm going to try and do that. Because these would all be cut off and would be very weak. Um, but if I try to push and cut right away, I'm kind of damaging this area because there's an Atari. And I don't really have time to come back and play over here. Okay, so he does that one. Hmm. So if I go here and he blocks here, I push, I push, connect. There's no guarantee I could live here on the side, but the corner does get very weak. So I'm just going to simply uh, try and connect under and see what he does. Like he could play here, and then if I try to push, he can Atari. Um, but he probably needs the Tanuki. Um, just not sure where, like maybe somewhere here, so I can't play this move. Oh, he does this one. Hmm. 
So if I Atari here, he connects, I go here, he can cut, I capture, he extends. And then this might get cut off, but then I can still connect under. And this he can't release around, so it gets to run out. And then there's still some Aji with this stone here. So even though this might get cut off, it feels like making a solid group on the side here is uh, pretty good. And if I get to connect to these stones here, the corner can get into trouble. There's still this push Aji. And uh, again, I can still threaten to capture his stone here if he Ataris and extends. And just extending here is threatening this Hane. Okay, so I'm going to extend once. And even if he uh, goes here, I can just extend here, and this is pretty much alive. Um, but said he connects under. So now, of course, I'm going to take advantage of the Aji here. And points-wise, he doesn't really have that many points now, because I kind of took his only area where he had uh, a big area. His corner could get into danger if he doesn't capture this. Um, this area is still weak here. And then I have this corner this area and potential on the top. Okay, I think I'm just going to connect here because I still have this uh, Atari, or not Atari, but cut, and I can extend, and then Atari, and then if I connect to these stones, then he has two weak groups. Okay, and this is Sente, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I need to make sure this is alive, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect here. Now if he Hane's here, I'm curious if I can do this one. Because if he Atari's, connects, and tries to get rid of this eye, I can capture. Okay, so he tries to defend. That's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to Hane, or not Hane, but extend here, because it's threatening the corner. And it's making sure everything is nice and connected. And this group is weak, so saving these three stones seems uh, pretty important. So he does seem like he's getting something here, but I should get more in the corner since he didn't defend, and then this group is very weak. And he still has to add moves here to make this uh, solid. And he played a lot of moves to try and make that happen. Uh, but even after this, I can still cut here, so yeah, he has to keep, he has to keep pushing which is helping make this more solid and making this weaker. So like just playing like this Kasumi here to surround, he can like push. Okay, the turn. This is actually very, uh, very calm. It's not what I would expect from a 4Q. So instead of trying to save these, he's trying to just reduce this area and force me to capture, which is very good. And he's probably going to play maybe something around here next, which looks like a very big area. Okay, maybe a little greedy, but it works. Um, I think I'll just attach here, because I feel like my area should be about as big as his area. So I don't really need to... Uh, um, sorry, this move is bad. Um, I don't need to really like jump in here and try and reduce it right away. Because he saw his Aji here, so if I can just extend and reduce it to just this area, it would be okay. Uh, this one is a little bit greedy. It feels like he's trying to take everything, when I think if he just played here, it would have been good enough. And he extends. Okay. So now that he uh, is trying to take everything, I'm kind of forced to be a bit more aggressive and try and do something here. Okay. Because I have lots of uh, forcing moves now to try and get some eye shape here. And this is weak, so he kind of has to keep crawling. 
And this group is also not alive yet. So if I were to, well, if he just kept connecting, I was going to peep and then try and jump, trying to make some eye shape here. Um, but since he didn't, I'm going to go ahead and turn here and uh, threaten his four stones. And even if this lives, um, playing all this in Sente is giving me uh, some eye space. So I have a potential eye here, and then after this one, I have another potential eye here if I play this one next. And he still has to come back and live. I believe this is just a ladder, right? So if he goes here, 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 to... Yeah, it's a, it's a ladder. Maybe he was thinking I had to net here, and then he could Atari connect, and then Atari out. But because of these stones, it's a, uh, it's a ladder. So if I just simply jump here, he wants to push. I have to connect. He goes here, but then I just capture. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So yeah, I'll just jump here. And he still has to come back and live here. Okay, so he peeps, I'm going to connect. Hmm. But now I can come back and kill this. So I feel like he played pretty well for a 4Q. Like, I was very surprised. Um, but he still has some issues with... Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure what the issue is here. Maybe Judgment? Maybe he was thinking this was too big, and he had to take everything, so he tried to force it. Um, when if I think he played similar to where he did here, where he kind of just uh, played the natural moves and kind of just let things happen, I think that would have been better for him. And like this area is just a little too small. Like this is small, com or this is small compared to this one. And I'm already alive here. So I think I'm just going to come back to the top and then just kind of try and make this solid. And I should be pretty far ahead. And now that I'm ahead, I don't need to think about invading or doing anything to this anymore. It should just be about uh, making sure what I have stays mine. So just going to play very solid. Okay, so he's trying to reduce me a little bit. That's good, but all I have to do is just play the uh, simple moves like this, just taking areas. And that's why knowing like who's winning and who's behind is very important. Because um, if I were to try and invade here, yeah, it might work, but I also can just get myself into trouble where these end up getting attacked and then I might lose the corner. Um, but if you know who's winning and who's not, it's it makes the game a little bit easier. Like I didn't count, but I'm pretty sure if he uh, just played the uh, on the star point over here and made this his area, it was very similar to this. And then I didn't have stones here yet to make it solid, so I could have. Uh, I feel like the game should have been pretty close. And then this over here also wasn't solid. So he could have invaded, threatened the corner. I think it was still a game. Um, so I'm just going to attach here, trying to reduce the center while also reducing this one a little bit. If he tries to do this one, it's, it's a bit much. Yep. So when I extend here, I can still connect to this one, which I don't think he uh, can cut it off. Yeah, yep, I'll just focus on connecting. I don't need to make it any more complicated than that. And, yep, Hane here. And just simply connect. Yep. Oh, did I mess up here? Yeah, I may have messed up a little bit, but it's okay. I thought for sure he would protect this. Because um, I can play here to expand my liberties. 
and I can push here. So I was thinking for sure he had to defend against this, but we'll find out. So even if he goes under here, I go here, it's an Atari. So I can still uh, approach here. And this one is just, I think I just kill the four stones. Because he has three liberties, I have one, two, three, four liberties. So I think he might be dead, but we'll find out. I have to play this one, because if I play this one, there's a snapback. Um, but I just have to reduce the liberties. So if I turn here, it's one, two, three, four liberties to one, two, three, four. So that might not work. Hmm. So to be safe, I think I should probably go here. Or maybe I can turn here to get some more liberties. We'll find out. Okay, so now it's one, two, three, four, five liberties. When I play here, it's one, two, three, four liberties. Okay. So that's another thing. I think I mentioned it in another video that uh, counting your liberties is very important. So let me see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I feel like I should be better here as well. Yeah, I think I just go here and I should have just more liberties. Because liberties is the most important thing when you're in a situation where there's multiple groups not alive and it's like a capturing race. You always have to know your liberties. Okay, he resigns, and um, yeah, that was a very, like his opening I thought was very good. Um, what he did here I thought was very good, um, just because most 4Qs I would imagine would just try to save these and do everything they can, and then they just have this long group that doesn't really do anything, and it ends up just dying. Um, he also seemed like he realized his corner was kind of just dead here, so he didn't respond to it, which that was also good. Um, but in this part of the board, I think he uh, didn't play as well, which I don't know if that's judgment. Like maybe after this, he thought he was just way behind. And so he thought he had to play this way. Um, or if it was just something that he normally does, like it's hard to say. But anyway, I think he played well. And uh, well, I'll see you next time.